Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is The Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you Under Paris Skies. many many years ago from a Russian violinist who I used to work with every Friday night in a restaurant in Hampstead and he had an amazing repertoire not only of uh, Russian and East European stuff but uh, kind of continental romantic stuff ideal for the cafe and um, I always loved this one I'm going to show you the whole tune and uh, first of all the basic version and then some more advanced things that you can do with it the tune was written in 1951 for a French film, Sous les Ciels de Paris, Under Paris Skies, and it was later recorded by Edith Piaf and uh, Yves Montand and made very famous. I have to admit, I'd never until today heard the Edith Piaf version, and uh, when I listened to it, um, I immediately laughed and cried at the same time. It, it's such an emotional tune when she plays it, it's well worth watching that. Anyway, um, before I get carried away, so I'm going to play you slowly through the whole tune. Let's go through it slowly and I'll show you some things that you can add to it. Uh, first few bars suggest to me trying to play um, one bow per bar. That'll just give it some smoothness and consistency but of course uh, you don't need to stick to that and there's lots of more interesting things you can do with the bowing. But if you're just starting out with this tune, that's one approach that you can take. Um, we've got a load of crotchets and quavers, and a lot of these can be changed in one way or another. So, for example, the very first bar, you can play... Um, that kind of thing. So you can bend the tune in all sorts of different ways. And don't forget, this is written as a vocal tune, and for the different verses and phrases, the singer is going to phrase it differently and uh, since we've got no words here we're very free to do what, what we really want with it. So um, don't at all feel restricted by what's written. Uh, I'll go through the first couple of lines. So that kind of thing. That's nice and I will 
will very often go to the third position for that A. Which gives me a lovely vibrato and a slide. And what an accordion would do on a lot of the runs is that kind of thing. And that's something that you can certainly do. If you want, you can repeat the A section up an octave. Then it goes into G minor and you can put a B flat under that D if you want. And put an A under the next note under the F6 chord. Then you can either hold that A just one long note, or you can do. Notice I've got this uh, deep, intense vibrato. And here it does that lovely French thing of going from the minor into the major. And this is something that comes from the Musette tradition. And uh, if you look at my video on the history of Gypsy Jazz, there's a bit there about what uh, Musette is and where it came from. And uh, the tune um, Vals de Niglos is uh, one which kind of fits very much into that tradition. So we're going from. Um, so it kind of. Um, the sun comes out at this point. So you could put a, an A below it or above it if you wanted. roll on that one if you want. Then we've got a long run uh, going up. If you want to start quiet and then build it, that's a good thing to do. Or you can make that rhythmically more interesting. Here you could do and slow down. And if you happen to be playing this with an accordion player, as I very often do, uh, make sure that you're on the same um, page when you come to do this. And then back to tempo. either just do a long D or you can do something like this and again if you can get your recording player to do the same thing uh, all the better so hope you enjoy this I do think it's a lovely tune and uh, if you do cafe restaurant type music then you can't be without a tune like this uh, I'm going to play you out with the backing from the wonderful band in the box and um, if you'd like a copy of the dots then subscribe, send me an email and I'd be happy to send you a copy. And incidentally this is uh, another one that is in my PDF French collection which is available free to everyone who joins me on Patreon. So uh, I do hope I'll see some of you there. I'll see you again soon.